Hi there, this is Colin and welcome back to the CSS Hero Academy. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you everything I can about using CSS Hero to change backgrounds. So let's dive right on in, click on the targeting tool here in CSS Hero. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to select an element here. And first of all, we're going to go down to this background here. So I'm going to choose this post section post 37 section I'm going to click on that now I can get down to my actual CSS options and here is the background one so I'm going to click on that opens up all these other options down here that you can change so let's just run quickly through these first of all I can change the background color I can change it to an image if I prefer I can also add a gradient and then once we get actually get into images I've got some options on changing whether I want it to be a repeating image whether I've, I've got a background attachment so whether it stays still as I scroll or whether it scrolls with the page background size whether I can stretch it to cover the background or I can tile and then the background position and I'm going to get more into these as we go through so first First of all, let's just go back into here and change the color. So the simplest thing is to do is just click on the color wheel here. You can do it that one. OK, you can choose in there. I'm going to close that one. My preferred way is just to click on the white color, brings up the color mixer here. And I'm going to choose this to go. Let's go something that's a little bit less white. So we're just going to go gray. So that's how easy it is to change the background color. I can then now change also the opacity of that. So, for example, if I bring that down to black, let's bring it all the way down to black. If I don't want it to be that black, I can change the opacity. And as you can see, I can get some gray effect here by doing that. That works for any color, but I can change the opacity by doing that. So I'm going to bring that opacity up. I don't tend to like using the opacity. I can do it on the color itself. So I'm going to leave that one as it is right now. Let's, go, let's just scroll down to this one here. So let's just choose this one. Same thing again. It's a post-737 section on this particular theme. I'm going to go to background. This time we're going to choose a background image. Now you can use one of the predefined images that are in here. Like for example, it's just going to put it to black and white like that. Uh, radial, it's like that. Red. You can change the colors of these. I'm going to show you in a second. And then we can go down to celestial, cornflower blue. There's lots of options in here. Actually, tons of options, as you can see, of changing the background. Now, these are gradients. So if I got to the easiest one to show you would probably be the black and white. And if we go into the gradient here, you'll see that I've, I'm starting off at the white and I'm going to end off at white. OK, I'm just going to scroll this up a little bit. There we go. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. I just want to scroll this up. There we go. If I want the top to start white and the bottom to go to black, this is what I do. So I, I've got the white there. I've selected that. Now I'm just going to select this down to the black over here. Oops, sorry. Black over here, as you can see there. Now I can also change the angle that this comes in. So if I put it over here, you'll see that the gradient comes in from the side. And if I pull it over up here, you'll see the gradient comes in from the top. Or I can bring it down here and it'll do it for the bottom. So that's the gradient. You can have some, some fun there, just changing the orientation. OK, so I'm going to actually go out the gradient. And I'm going to actually choose an image this time. So I'm going to choose an image. OK, I'm going to go to my media library. And I'm going to choose this road image here. It's actually a large image, so I'm going to make it the full size. And I'm going to use as background. OK, just to take a second there. As you can see, I've got a nice picture image as the background here. Now, as I scroll, you'll see that it scrolls with it. OK, I don't want it to repeat because it's a, it's a large picture and a large photo or a large image that I want spread across the whole page. OK, the scroll attachment here, the background attachment is I can inherit the exact settings that Divi have built in. So in this particular case, it's scroll with the page. I can choose to override that and use my own scroll as a page, or I can use the fix. Now, this is the really cool one. So as I scroll up and down the page now, you'll see that the picture stays still while I scroll over. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to put it back to scroll. OK, now the background size here, I've got 100%. I've got contain, so it will actually contain it within the, the height there okay that's the whole picture or I can put it on auto and it will stretch it right across like that now I can also go to 100 by 100 and what that's going to do is going to stretch it to 100% height and 100% width and you can change these you can do it to 50 50 if you want so you can go in here and and set it to 50 50% 50 height and 50% width and click on enter on that one and there you go so there's your 50 percent height 50 percent width and you can change those all over so i like to just uh, cover 
and that's covering it right there. Now, if you want to make this a little bit bigger, all you've got to do is go up to your background. We can change it by size. Let's just scroll this down a little bit. So I can change the height of this so it actually gets a bigger like that. Or the other option is to add some padding inside that particular section. So the top padding here, we can bring it up and the bottom padding, we can bring it down and that will expand your settings then. So some real quick ways that you can change the sizes of your sections, okay? But if I go back here, back to my background, okay? I'm just gonna minimize that. So we're down at the image size there. That's how we add a single image. But if we go back up here and add a smaller image, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose this tile here. This is actually a very small tile. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click on show. And I'm gonna use this as a background. As you can see, it's 166 by 166 pixels. So it's not, it's not designed to cover the whole thing. But I'm gonna show you how it does. Okay, so I'm gonna use that as a background. Now, right now, because my settings are set to cover, that 166 by 166 pixel image is actually stretching to cover the whole page. And as you can see, it's it's pixelizing and looking awful. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this to auto. There's my actual original image, as you can see. And I'm going to move this to the top left corner. OK, and now I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to go up to the background repeat and I'm going to if I repeat it on the X, it's going to go across and just repeat across the page. If I repeat it on the Y, it will just go up and down. But if I click on the last one, it will repeat both ways. So there you can see that I've got the tiled image going right the way across. Now, it is a seamless tile. But if I go back up to here and we change the size again, you'll notice that this actually does... Whoops, I didn't mean to change the width. Sorry about that. OK, so I'm going to change the height. And as you can see, that's a tiled image. It stays with the page all the way down. OK, so I'm going to go put my width back properly here. I don't know what that was at. Probably about 1,200. So let's just do that. And the height we can adjust, say, that way. OK, and if I go back to the background, we can get it all back to the normal by clicking on Reset. So that's the background. Click OK. And that's, that will just all go back to normal when I click on save. And there we go. Everything's back to normal. So that's the background property. Have a play with it. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. You, you can't really go wrong. You can try adding images, tiled images, uh, colors, gradients. There's lots of things you can do with the background. So have fun on this one. Until next week, please click on subscribe. Or if you like this video, share it with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye now.